obviously the relationship isn't as fulfilling as what I think it is. There must be something in the relationship that I need to work through to, to work through that issue. Does that make sense? And I'm not saying stop masturbating. You're allowed to touch yourself as much as you want, right? What I'm saying is deal with the underlying emotional injury that causes the addiction to it. And then see whether you still want to masturbate as much. Right? Then allow it based on desire, not based on need. Is it a natural thing for like teenagers to start masturbation as a natural part of life? Certainly. It's a natural thing for a little child of five to start it. Certainly. There's no no the problem is that what we do with sexuality is when our little children of three, four or five are playing with themselves, what do we do? We start going down the track of, oh don't do that in public, oh you know, and we start getting ashamed of ourselves as parents and we get triggered. Right? and we're imposing all of these emotions of shame onto our children, and so they're learning to shut down their sexual identity. The truth is they're allowed to play with themselves as much as they like. It doesn't matter if all of you are triggered. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So if a little child's in the audience playing with itself and all of you are triggered, well, that's your own emotional stuff. We need to work our way through it and deal with it. Not, not dump it on the child, because when we dump it on the child, what happens? The child grows up, does exactly the same thing, doesn't connect to themselves sexually, is disconnected from God as well. So there's no harm in all of that, none whatsoever. There's no harm in sexual play between, between children if it's not done out of, you know, most of the time nowadays it's done reflecting parents' emotions, you know. And if it wasn't, if there wasn't the reflection of parents' emotions, that's what we talked about in the parenting discussion, it would be so much better and we, they could be allowed to develop themselves sexually. They wouldn't have any shame about it, no guilt about it. There's no, no reason why a child can't begin a soulmate sexual relationship by the time they're 10, is there, really? Really? Like, if, if a child can be at one with God by the time they're 10, surely a child can also have a sexual relationship with their soulmate by the time they're 10. So why, why do you think differently? Because we're conditioned that, oh no, that's wrong, it's not right, they're not yet, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're conditioned to all these things and that's what causes the damage. So can you see how on one hand I'm being quite firm about the morals, but on the other hand how there's a lot of so-called morals that we have imposed upon us that are just not in harmony with love at all? Can I just ask another quick question? Yeah. Not to do with this, I hope it's still on topic. Um, I've got a bit of judgment myself personally on um, um, sex toys yep. and stuff like that. Yep. And so is that because I've got an emotion behind that or um, the other part of me just says that if I need to have that then um, it's going out of the natural part of sexual enjoyment? Uh, good question. Um, here's our soul. We have what type of? So, how do we know the difference between truth and error? That's really what we're saying in the end, isn't it, with a lot of these questions? Well, yeah, is it harmonious with love? Right? right, so if I'm using a sex toy in a way that's disharmonious with love, then obviously it's not going to be to my soul's benefit. But if I'm using a sex toy that's harmonious with love, then it's going to be to my soul's benefit. Now, when we say harmonious with love, harmonious is the love of what? Love of the person, their body, love of the environment, love of, like, there's a lot of loves to consider in this, isn't there? Not just the sexual love, right? So, so I don't know, I, I don't know how comfortable you'd feel about replacing batteries that go into landfill every day into a vibrator. Do you know what I mean? There is an issue not to do with the vibrator itself there, but to do with the power source and whether it's harmonious with love. Do you know what I mean by that? Can you see how we would actually have to weigh up those things and just ask ourselves those questions? But in the end, what's the difference like 
of inserting a finger or a vibrator or, or a penis or anything into a person's vagina, what's the, what's the difference in the end? If it's done out of harmony with love, it's going to be damaging. If it's done with love, how's it going to be then? Surely it would be fine, wouldn't it? So allow yourselves to work through those issues emotionally. You can ask yourself with everything the question, is this loving? Is this not loving? Is this loving? Is this not loving? Quite easily, yes. And oftentimes you'll know the answer if you just listen to yourself. So if I have a bit of a fear of it, then obviously it is fear love. No, is it? Is fear love? No. So if I'm afraid of a vibrator, then I've got some emotional issue. <laughs> Agreed? Can you see that? And I can work through that emotional issue, can't I? And maybe one way to work through it is go and buy a vibrator and, and work out why you're so afraid of the thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're all laughing, but it's very serious. I'm serious. Do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of times this is what we do. How many of you ladies are afraid of porn? Yep. Right? Quite a few there will be generally. Why? Angry, okay, so feel the feeling. What, look at some porn, feel the feeling of anger and let yourself connect to what it's about. And you'll connect to exploitation of women that, and you'll connect to lots of different emotions that you feel within yourself. And then you won't feel drawn to watch porn, but you won't feel drawn either to be afraid of it. You won't be angry with it either. Do you know what I mean? And when you're not angry with it or afraid of it, it loses its power in your life and therefore has no, will have no bearing on your life after that. Yeah, because when we're repulsed and angry and afraid of porn, it actually affects our own sexual response. Because right. there's a lot of emotions in there about men and about you know, who we are as women and how we've been treated. So when we're in the sex act, it, it, those emotions come into bed with us. Yep. Yeah. So, so I'm not suggesting we should go out and buy porn, am I? What I'm saying is, anything you're afraid of needs to be confronted. Anything you're angry about needs to be confronted. Because that's all just covering emotions inside of ourselves.